Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. So the song is called Losing It by Fisher. He's been the king of Deep House for the past few months. He's got a ton of sick tracks. So let's jump right into it. Here's what that main lead sounds like by itself. So in the MIDI file here, you can see he's only playing two notes, but it's really the rhythm of the notes and the overall groove of the song that's so cool. So I made this sound in Serum, and it shows one saw wave pitched an octave down with seven voices of unison. And you'll notice this envelope here looks tiny. So this envelope, to get a bigger picture of it, we can click this lock button. So you can see my envelope settings here, 30 milliseconds of attack, 30 milliseconds of hold, about 150 milliseconds of decay. So it's a really short sound, so you gotta get the envelope as tight as possible. And this envelope is modulating four different things. First of all, it's modulating the detune of oscillator A. And what that does is widen up the detune of the sound every time a note plays. Then it's also modulating the cutoff of the filter over here and opening up the filter all the way. In the effects tab, we have some tube distortion and this envelope is also modulating the drive and the mix of the tube distortion. And as for other effects, I've just got some chorus on there. As for processing, a big part of the sound is the bit crusher here. So I have bit crusher on the chain. I'll play it with and without the bit crusher so you can see the difference. So after the bit crusher in the chain, I have some EQ, cutting off everything above 3800 hertz. Then I have some OTT, compressing the sound and cutting off a little more of the high end. Then I have another EQ, that's just cutting out some annoying frequencies around 4000 hertz and cutting out a little bit of the low mids. So underneath that main lead sound is a deep bass sound. It might be kind of hard to hear if you're listening on a phone, but it's worth checking out because most of his basses sound like this. So this is another serum sound, and it's another saw wave, pitched two octaves down, this time with just one voice of unison, so it's right in the middle of the mix. So the envelope in this case isn't modulating the cutoff of the filter, it's actually just modulating the volume and the amplitude of the sound. In the effects section, I've got this formant one filter with the drive a little bit up, and the mix at about 25%. Then after that, I've got some tube distortion as well to fatten up the sound a little bit. Then on my effects chain, I've got the CLA bass plugin, adding some compression and a lot more distortion too. And then after that, I've got some EQ, just cutting off everything above 300 hertz. Cause you don't want this sound to be interfering with the lead sound in any way. You just want the low end of it. So cut off everything above 300 hertz. Another cool thing he does during the buildups of this song is slowly add some delay on the lead sound like this. And the way you do that is just make a uh, send track with some delay on it. Then you can just automate the send amount of that delay track to slowly bring it in during the buildups. One more thing that I forgot is the huge foghorn sound effect that he uses at the beginning of a couple of the drops. It sounds like this. So I just found a foghorn sample from Splice somewhere. You just want a foghorn sound effect and add a ton of distortion to it. Make sure it's sidechained to the kick and put some big reverb and delay on it. And it'll get the same effect that he had in the song. All right, that's pretty much it for this one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below to stay up to date with what I'm doing. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.